Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Atlanta Hawks franchise. We are going to be probably pushing through some of the beginning to middle stretches of the first season. As we can see here at the top, the, the top news story, John Morant dropped 50 in a game against the Suns, and KD dropped 49. So just that one extra point and the loss, and, and no one will ever even respect that 49-point game. But something I wanted to talk about before we get started is... I didn't realize that right before I had filmed the, well, I guess it was probably the day of that I filmed the first episode of the series, that was the same day that the Celtics blew that giant lead. And the big comeback was orchestrated by none other than DeJounte Murray, who dropped like 44 points, had another game-winning shot. That's like his second or third on the season. But I told you I wasn't going to force getting rid of either of these guards if... If I didn't have to. So I'm going to continue to rock out with them. But DeJounte Murray is kind of becoming like a, a true fan favorite for the Hawks, it appears. And uh, the, the crowd loves him. You know, while Trey's out, he dominates. But we know that if we do decide to move on from either of those guards, DeJounte is going to have less trade value overall. And uh, I honestly don't want to have to part with either of them. So for now, we probably won't. We're going to be taking on the Cavs here in this next matchup. On the season so far, they're averaging 122 points per game. And uh, they've got a very stout starting five. So we're going to go ahead and probably just live sim this until uh, till the end of the fourth quarter. And we'll see where we're rocking. The last game I played, they didn't make any substitutions for my team. So everybody played all like 24 minutes. I'm hoping to God to see somebody get out of this game. This is very frustrating though. Like I've got the minutes set. You saw I showed right before. Uh, this should not be happening. As we are leading by three points. Going into the fourth quarter, if we can upset the Cavs, that'd actually be pretty sweet. Do we even need to hop into this game? It doesn't appear we do. Hawks are going to pull away, and we are going to win by eight points in total. So nice shit for the team. Clint Capella, 27 points, 17 rebounds. Holy guacamole. Uh, everybody in the starting lineup had ridiculous stats because our bench didn't play. So we got to figure out how to make that not happen anymore. I don't know if I have to, like, adjust more minutes for players we'll take away bruno fernando's minutes i guess maybe take a minute away from here and add it here and add one to sadiq bay Clint capella's kind of earned some more minutes so we'll give him 16 we're playing the raptors again we played them once before we're gonna quick sim this one we fall to them again a five point loss trey young 35 and 15 did we get our st our backup players in we did okay so we're back to having bench scoring Sadiq Bey did not play well in his one start, so we're actually going to take him back out of the lineup. And uh, before I keep simulating, I do also want to make sure I get some scouting suggestions out there for my for my scouts to get busy. Maybe uh, Misi out of Baylor could be a, a nice player to scout, good backup big for us. Stefan Castle could be a nice wing that could play the three as well, because we are definitely looking for... Uh, a three that has a higher upside than what we've currently got. Maybe this will be the game we end up hopping into, assuming that uh, we actually get some substitutions in. So let's go ahead and, and quick sim this matchup. Uh, that's not even what I meant to do. But hey, we win by 27 points. I was trying to live sim, accidentally quick simmed. Uh, Trey Young, 30 point triple double. I mean, he's just stats galore. DeJounte Murray, 28 points. Our bench is actually producing very well. Kobe Bufkin had 12 points. The Minnesota Timberwolves. This could be a good matchup to maybe hop into. We are in Atlanta, which we played a lot of home games so far. Let's go ahead and live sim this one to the end of the fourth quarter. We'll see if uh, Anthony Edwards carries his team to victory. Right now, they are kind of falling out of the one seed in real life. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that as a Nuggets fan. But, you know, if Carl Anthony Towns comes back healthy, can they make a move? Who, who really knows? I, my faith in that team is, is not very high. But I still don't want to see them in the playoffs. They're very talented, especially on defense. As it is a a one point game now, Atlanta takes the lead in the third quarter. We were down. Now we've stormed back. Trey Young's got 41 through three quarters. We're up by 10 now. Holy shit! Can he get a 50 by himself? I want to see if he can before I interject and hop in. 49 for him. 52. All right, we're gonna hop in and play the rest of of the game, I suppose, or at least maybe a little bit. You know what? No, we're not going to. We're just gonna simulate the rest of it because I I feel it's a little disingenuous to have him. Is he going to drop 60? 58 points is absolutely insane. And looking at the box score overall, they're up about seven at the third quarter. And then from the third quarter on, we took a 17 point swing. We lose to the Heat by eight points. Jimmy Butler had a nice game. Trey Young, 34 and 14. DeAndre Hunter, I'm going to keep my eye peeled for you, buddy. Play the Heat again. Are we doing a little back to back? Can we get our revenge? We do. We drop 150 points into DeJounte Murray. 
34 points, 9 assists. AJ Griffin had a shit ton of scoring off the bench. In how many minutes was that as well? In five minutes, he had 14 points. Okay, maybe he deserves to have a little bit more, a little bit more PT. All of our scouting is complete on all of our players. So we're going to go ahead and select some more players. I think we actually might be able to scout the majority of the, uh, of this class if we continue to stay on top of it. So we'll go ahead and scout Zach Eady. Minutes wise, Kobe Bufkins played well. I think Bogey's going to definitely lose some some minutes and i'm gonna actually probably give them to to aj griffin and oneka okongu has not impressed me so he's actually gonna lose a couple minutes and we're gonna throw him back to bruno fernando now we take on the magic the magic are currently uh four and six not a great offense so far we are producing very well trey Young's already averaging 32 points per game paulo's scoring is down through the first you know 10 games or so he's got 18 points per game i am going to hop in the fourth quarter regardless of uh of what the score is and if we're down we'll try to make a good push and if we're up we'll just keep pouring it on it appears that it's just a quick sim thing where my guys are not being substituted out so we gotta we gotta get it to quality games we gotta let them know Hey, the minutes are, are are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, we'll make our own substitutions. Trey Young gets shifty, puts the floater up, it's off. That was not a great move by me. Oh my God, Anthony Black wide open. What is that layup? Jesus Christ, Gary Harris, former Nugget great. Oh, Paolo lost his man. Oh my God, Jalen Johnson with the dunk. I don't really know how the how the players are playing so well. Oh my God, the floater by Dejounte rolls out. Okay, we gotta stop settling for these just drive-ins. Let's let's set up some plays. I feel very disjointed right now. Spacing wise, DeAndre Hunter, what what are we doing? Jalen Johnson just gonna continue to dunk the ball all over everybody. He's got one rebound away from a double double. And uh, I'm trying to pickpocket. It actually worked. We sent our man on a good route. And DeAndre Hunter gets the fast break layup. He's got 31 points. My my bad. Didn't mean to discredit your performance today. I didn't realize you were cooking so far. And honestly, it, regardless of whether they score or not, assuming we lose any level of momentum, as we get the stop, actually, I was going to say we call a timeout just to get our subs in, but it doesn't even matter because right now, oh my God, getting right to the rim, getting whatever he wants. He's got 28 points and 12 assists. Oh my God, Jalen Johnson with the block. The timing is great. Trey Young in transition. What the fuck just happened? I did not mean to do that. Held down the crossover button too hard and Trey Young just pushes Markel Fultz, loses the ball, just shoves him. Sadiq Bay is going to play the four. We got all of our backups in. I know that there's, uh, you know, it's not a gimme by any means. We got an eight point lead, but we have yet to really play with our backups, I, I would say. So, oh, look at the bob and we've, no one's going to card a neck of Kongu. Just let him drive on in, get the dunk. Like I haven't played with AJ Griffin. I haven't played with Kobe Bufkin yet. I mean, there's probably a good reason for that. They're, they're not great players relative to our starters, but seem to be cooking in limited time. Oh my God, the read on that was insane. AJ Griffin stayed with a with Anthony Black the whole way. Oh my God, he got his pockets picked. That's fine. Uh, kind of house money regardless. Take the charge, let's go! Kobe Bufkin gets his feet set. The backups are making gritty plays. Can Bogey make something happen here? It's kind of a little bit shifty. A little hand a little crossover left, right. Fight over the screen. Oneka Kongwu sends it back. The hustle plays. No, you gave it to the wrong guy. Okay, get the rebound. Nice job. This team is, is, is crazy. It's a steel trap. Oh my God. The 360 layup by AJ Griffin. The 360 dunk, I should say. Not a layup. These backups are playing crazy right now. They're getting, their plus minus is insane. Okay, what can Bogey do? Can Bogey show off a little bit? He's like, hey, somebody come pick me up. Somebody, uh... Somebody trade for me. Kobe Bufkin, crafty moves, beats his guy off the dribble. It was Markel Fultz. Oh, no, not the pick and roll with the two best players. Phantom ass foul call. Whatever. Whatever you say, guys. Oh, my God. Sadiq Bey wide open on the wing. He knocks it down for three. Oh, my God. He gets the foul underneath. The floater's up. It's off. Okay. Hey, it's okay. We're still going to line. AJ Griffin going to shoot two. Somehow he's cold. I feel like he's played very well, but... That free throw should, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stop him from being cold, huh? You hit a free throw, that doesn't kill any of the momentum that you were having against you. It still counts as two points. I mean, two points is two points. His impact has been less on the stat sheet, more uh, in, in play, you know? It, it's just, if you're watching with your eyeballs, you're not allowed in here. Sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God, Franz Wagner. And the crafty finish by Bogey. What is that? Man, the Lakers are really just, 
just one to send a first round pick your way for him. That is, that's for sure. Oh my God, an Echo Kongwu. The rim protection on this team is pretty crazy. In the comments uh, of my first video for this series, which was, it was very well received, which I appreciate. Somebody was saying that they don't think Aneka Kongwu is the future at the center spot. And while I do somewhat agree because he, his ceiling is, is pretty high, but Clint Capella is a solid center. He's nothing great as we just continue to get block after block. But Aneka Kongwu could at least be a good backup center for us or just kind of do a good like split as we got our pockets picked. Can we get in position to, get, to, take, this, to take the charge? Nope, Bogey's just going to post up and... Get a fucking foul called somehow. I don't understand. No, I don't know if Aneka Okongwu is the uh, the future at the center position, but at least we know that he's a very solid player and he's going to develop into at least a, a serviceable center. So we, we're not going to, you know, settle for that being the case, but he could develop a shot. You know, he's very athletic. He, he can at least rim run a little bit. You know, collect some boards. Let's let it go out of bounds. Four seconds left. Atlanta wins again. That's a, a very solid win for us. 28 points and 12 rebounds. Nope, 28 points and 12 assists for Trey Young. Really getting to the paint very well. Top five teams in the league are Memphis, Denver, OKC, Indiana, and Phoenix. And right now, the point leaders are Luka, Joel, and SGA. Trey Young leading the league in assists through uh through 10 games quick sim it up and we beat them we are seven and five right now we're actually kind of rolling a little bit trey young hits 15 assists somehow draymond green was their player of the game so what happened to steph curry he put up 18 points yikes if draymond green is outperforming uh you that's pretty pretty bad not gonna lie sadiq bay gets 15 points off the bench i don't think i want him in the starting role but i think i like him as a spark plug off the bench as take on new orleans we beat him by six brandon ingram 19 and 10 trey young a, a casual 27 and 14 sadiq bay had 30 i don't remember putting him in the starting lineup so did, was there an injury or something he's starting when did that happen i did not do that so and also clint capella is on the bench too so what the fuck happened why why are we making some, some moves that i did not i did not call for these moves take on the nets we're gonna quick sim that game no need to even waste time uh we beat them by 17 points trey young another 15 assist game and jalen johnson gets an upgrade point for the first time uh and we also have a full scouting report set for the number of players so i'm actually probably just gonna stop updating you on the amount of scouting we're doing because I honestly believe that we can scout almost everybody in the class if we just keep doing it. Do we save up for the defensive rebounding for Jalen Johnson? Probably. We'll continue to hold on to these points. So my live recording kind of bugged out, but this is the most important part of the episode, so bear with me. I felt like we were coming to a crossroad with our wing position because AJ Griffin's been producing really well in limited minutes. Bogey is not a part of the long-term future. He's 31 with a giant contract for several years. And DeAndre Hunter, while he is young, he's getting paid a ton of money and he's kind of already hit his ceiling so i could just have sadiq bay play deandre hunter's role yes he's only under contract for one year but he's getting paid way less money and if he does overperform his value we could just resign him in the offseason so after trying to figure out who has more value i decided that deandre hunter not only putting up 14 points and a couple assists he also was under contract for a longer period of time which is going to entice contending teams to potentially shell out draft capital in order to acquire him for the long haul so after cross-referencing some of the top teams teams in each conference. I was between Cleveland, Indianapolis, and Los Angeles. In Cleveland, he kind of has contrasting skill sets with Isaac Okoro for that 3 and D type mold. I don't really know if he's much of an upgrade over Aaron Neesmith in Indianapolis, so I decided to send him out west to the Los Angeles Clippers where he could potentially start over Terrence Mann, and if not, he could at least come off the bench. So in order to not finesse the CPU too much, we are offering DeAndre Hunter and a second round pick next year in exchange for a first this year and a first next year. PJ Tucker is simply just a cap casualty. We're basically getting a first round pick this year and we're moving up next year in the draft about 15 to 20 spots. We're also able to free up about $11 million of extra cap space. This trade wasn't looking great to start off because Sadiq Bey only had single digit points in his first start, but in his second game starting at small forward position, he was able to put up 37 points. But unfortunately, this win came at the cost of two major injuries. So Trey Young has sprained his foot he's gonna be out for three games i think he can still play through it i don't really know if i want to risk it and then kobe buffkin is also going to be out for two games with a strained hamstring i'll probably end up having them play but i'll definitely be reducing their minutes trey young go down to like 15 or maybe even 14 kobe buffkin i would give the extra point card spot to but he is uh, still injured, so we'll go ahead and get rid of his shooting guard minutes. Bogey is going to get two minutes extra there. Sadiq Bey is also going to get Bogey's minutes 
at the small forward position because Sadiq Bey just dropped uh, 37 points. So he's definitely going to get a little bit of a bump. And then we'll go ahead and give this last minute to AJ Griffin. So for now, we're trying to mitigate these injuries. Right now, OKC is 15 and two leading the league and then the MVP race so far. Again, very early in the season through uh, through 17 games is going to be Shea, Joel, and Nicole Jokic, which is how it was in real life until Joel got injured. Uh, and then Defensive Player of the Year, Bam is leading the way. Again, most of those things are going to be shifting a lot as the records and, and team uh, positioning continues to shift. But Trey Young still leading the league in assists through, uh, through 17 games, wherever wherever that's at. He also has the most points in a single game with 58. So that 58 game is still the all time so far through 17 games as he's almost got 30 points per game. The lack of minutes is definitely going to be uh, an issue for him. He's going to drop his stats quite a bit, but DeJounte Murray is going to definitely prospering through that. Clint Capella scoring a lot more than I thought he would. We are currently sitting at 10 and 7. Going to be taking on the Sacramento Kings, and that'll be in the next episode. So I will see you guys for that one. We made a good good trade decision. Trade away DeAndre Hunter to the Clippers. We get the legendary PJ Tucker, all cardio first team. We are currently slotted in the fourth seed, but we're also tied for four ways so one game away from being in the ninth seed but there's a, a sizable gap between toronto and charlotte some teams that you'd expect to see at the bottom uh are all there except for the new york knicks who are somewhat worse than i thought and then out west it's pretty much the same suspects you'd expect to see except for dallas who is refusing to get any wins probably could have used a deandre hunter uh, but you know what he's gone he is now sitting uh in los angeles uh, on the bench. And that is going to be it for this episode of the Atlanta Hawks franchise. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Join the Discord if you haven't already so you can chat with me and a bunch of other people. Get the rosters to this and uh, my draft classes as well. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.